Hey, it's, it's Vino, and this is Deadmonton TV. Welcome to Friday the 13th of May. We hope you're not priscadecophobic. Now, your usual host, Pumpkinhead, is trying to thumb a ride out to the West Coast Haunters Convention, but according to our GPS thingy, he didn't even make it as far as Calgary yet. He's probably lying in a ditch, sucking back the beer out of the empties that he finds. Uh, guess I better say hi to all the ho folks that are going to be out there, though, including uh, Halloween Hellmouth and the Bloodshed Brothers and Chris and Jeff Davis and all the other bloggers and artists that we know. Cheers and have yourself a great time out there. The Canadian Haunted Attraction Conference is happening this weekend, too, and we want to thank and give a shout out to Matthew, who with his team has organized this whole thing with seminars on airbrush effects and video production, and creating memorable characters with that uh, Whitechapel Road author, Wayne Mallows. Uh, it's sure to be an informative and exciting seminar series. Their whole series is sponsored by Dark Imaginings, who also produced their new website. So make sure you check it out at CanadaHaunts.ca. Keep an eye out for the other things that are coming up in the next month. Let's see, there's um, Crypticon Seattle and the Seattle International Film Festival and the uh, Great Lakes Fright Fest in Petersburg, Missouri. And, uh, oh, the Midwest Honors Convention in Ohio. If you're into the uh, long cars, you know, the cadaver cabs or the meat lockers or bone wagons, make sure you check out HearseCon in Denver on on June 24th through the 26th, the Edmonton Bone Wagon Association is heading down there too, and it's usually a coffin lid raisin party when you get a bunch of those folks together. Check out their promos on their website and their YouTube channel as well. Make sure you head to Calgary, Alberta for the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo, where you can meet Pumpkinhead and Miss Edmonton. We even hear tell that the folks from Calgary might be present. Now it isn't an all-horror convention, there's that spacey kind of thing, and comics and stuff too, but the one and only George Romero is going to be there as well. Maybe you'll even get some ideas for this fall's zombie march with the zombies in space theme. It, it was a sad day last weekend as one of Dedmonton's own grew up and moved away to start his own life. Derek Clayton was heading out to the greener pastures of Vancouver because the movie-making business has kind of dried up locally due to our, our lack of culture minister. No, no, it's not that we lack one, but our culture minister who, minister who studied criminology and corrections, uh, he lacks any sort of culture himself. He even said that we fund and produce too much shit in the Alberta film and television industry. Well, Derek, we're... We're going to miss you, but you know we'll be back in town for Dead Fest and other events. I understand that you're going to get to see Miss Gory Ray out in that neck of the woods, too. So say hi for us. Last Friday night was the Dead Fest stop on the Splatter Matters double feature tour. With, with money raised going to that Japan Earthquake Relief Fund. The feature movie, Machine Girl, well, was a good movie in the splatter genre. Especially if you're into schoolgirls with Gatling guns on their arms fighting the Yakuza. I, I've seen a lot of things in my old age, but I have to admit that opening flick Hell Driver was probably one of the most creatively unusual movies I've ever seen. I wouldn't recommend it to most people, but unless you like really, really bizarre zombie gore, vehicles made of zombies, and living fetal man Riki. <laughs> Personally, I know a few who did enjoy it, though. What people don't know about this history is that the members of the Senate subcommittee all shared a secret. They were monster hunters, and they were bound to seek out and destroy the very children who were corrupted by the evil of William Gaines and the stories he published through EC Comics. So says King Unicorn, one of the artists who created Think of the Children, a satirical horror comic about the events leading up to the original Comics Code Authority. Along with Kristen Sager, they are looking for funding to produce handmade hardbound copies of their hit webcomic. 
Uh, I'm not sure how many of you are aware of Kickstarter, the new way to fund creative projects with an all or nothing funding method. You pledge how much you'd like to fund and the artists themselves reward you with products, benefits and experiences that you can't get anywhere else. If the project doesn't meet the requested level of funding by the deadline, no money changes hands. For the Think of the Children project, you can get a vinyl sticker for as little as a $5 sponsorship with a bunch of different levels all the way up to a 1 in 3 limited edition sculpture from King Unicorn himself, another sculpture and the sculptured hardcover copy of the book, along with a few other things for a $500 level of sponsorship. Check it out at the link below. We need to shout out to all the new subscribers that we have, and we're well over 75 now, including many people with years of talent who we learn from, and the young ones that are putting forth great content and, and are fearless, such as the Daniel from the Vault of Fears and Elijah and Eliana from, from Brad's Boo Barn. And we hope you all continue. I'll stop to give a big shout out to Josh and the Norwood Haunted House team who, who showed up with a bunch of props and towed to the zombie walk a couple of weeks ago. Some of you folks also know about scary visions as well. We hear there's a new project coming out of that camp in the near future. If you have a haunt, horror, or Halloween blog, just post it in the comments below or over on the Scary Visions channel or website or Facebook page and let either of us know. And thanks to all you folks who are doing the blog TV thing. It's been a slice and I look forward to hosting some of our own sometime. Well, that's all for now. So, Vino, remember, stay undead. But, but, but I'm not pumpkin in.